guys, today I'm going to quickly talk to you about the barcode, the Century barcode, which is kind of part of our logo. It sits at the bottom of our logo, and I will actually flash it on the screen so that you can see what I'm referring to. We put the barcode together a few years back with obviously a few designers, and um, it has a very particular meaning to it, which I just want to explain to you. I think it will make it a useful. Firstly, there are seven colors in the barcode because we do have seven senses. And I'll talk to you about the seven senses in just a moment. But the whole barcode idea is because of the fact that it resembles uniqueness, individuality, and that each and every one of us are very different. So as we go through sensory intelligence, we go through self-assessments and identifying how you are different and unique based on your seven senses. The barcode is just that representation of individuality. And no, we don't want to scan it and we're going to go all of those digital routes, but it is the, um, an explanation of your uniqueness. And then obviously we use different colors because colors are visual and we are very much a visual brand. And I personally have high visual threshold. So I actually process visual information much faster than auditory. That's another blog going forward some other time. But just to work you through the seven senses quickly. Our first sense that we refer to is visual. So everything that goes through the eyes, everything that we see, sunlight, pictures, clutter, everything that's in your, around, in your surroundings is going to provide you a visual feedback. That's why some people, for instance, have to put their sunglasses on when they go outside because they might be very sensitive. Or a lot of people really struggle with clutter because it makes them feel overwhelmed. So that's your visual system. I'm just giving you a quick intro to them. Auditory, everything that goes through the ears, everything that we hear, sounds, um, music, talking, social engagement, buzzing, everything that goes through the ears is processed through the auditory system. And we do know a lot of people have got auditory sensitivity where they need to engage less with their environment or use sound, um, uh, sound cancelling or noise cancelling headphones. So there are various options that we work through that. The awareness is important. Then touch. Touch is your social sense. And we've got skin and touch gets processed through your skin. You've got skin right from the top of your head right down to the soles of your feet. So the touch sense has got the biggest and widest receptor area. And touch is anything that we put onto our skin, like hairstyles or even earrings or clothing, labels, socks. Those get actually put onto the body through the touch system and your touch receptors will process that. Temperature, any movement on your skin, um, um, and then also social touch. How do we engage with others? Have you got a big bubble, personal space, or a small bubble, so personal space? All of that relates to touch. Smell and taste. Those are our two chemical senses. Smell in the ear, in the, in the nose, everything that we smell. And smell sensitivity is quite an interesting one to deal with. And smell is the only sense of all of our senses that bypasses Grand Central Station in the brain. Grand Central Station in the brain is the thalamus, for those of you who want to have more detailed information. But smell bypasses that, so it's got a direct hotline to the limbic system, which is emotion and memory. That's why smell often has such a fast and a quick response. Taste, anything that we put in our mouth that we taste, but obviously if, as soon as we put food in our mouth, there's a visual element because we look at it first, we can, and then the texture is a touch element, but then taste is really what is the taste buds doing to that information going through, uh, through your, 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 um, your digestive system from then on. And then the other two senses, those are the five visible senses that we all know about. And then the other two senses, which are more hidden, is vestibular and proprioception. Vestibular is in your inner ear. It's like your body's GPS. It gives you feedback and space. Um, and it also works very closely with balance and gravity. So it's our gravity receptor. So as soon as your head positioning change, that system gets feedback. And if you remember the first vlog that I've done on scuba diving, that is why I struggle to scuba dive because I've got a sensitive vestibular system. And then vestibular works in conjunction with proprioception. Proprioception is in your muscles and in your joints. Every time when you move a muscle or when you move a joint, your brain gets feedback about that. And that's, for instance, why the exercise industry is so huge, because we know any kind of physical activity, running, going to the gym, yoga, Pilates, all of that 
has got um, impact through to the proprioceptive system, which is our universal regulator. I know that's a big statement and a big word, but it's critical. The movement system, and in particular proprioception, is a universal regulator. It does mean it always have, always, 99% of the time have capacity to calm and organize the nervous system. So it's a great tool to use if you are not focused or if you are stressed or if you can't cope. So that's just a little intro into the barcode. It's all about the seven senses. It's all about you being unique, you being different. And that's what we are acknowledging. And that's what we're harnessing in the work that we are doing. That's all for today. Um, have a nice day and cheers.